This is my 8-bit binary adder. In binary, unlike um, decimal, where 10 to the 0 times 1 equals 1, 10 to the 0 times 2 equals 2, 10 to the 1 times 1 equals 10, and 10 to the 0 times 5 plus 10 to the 1 times 1 equals 15, as in the columns and in addition by columns. In binary, that number on the right that you see here can only go up to 1. So 2 to the 0 times 0 equals 0, 2 to the 0 times 1 equals 1, 2 to the 1 times 1 equals 2, and 2 to the 0 times 1 plus 2 to the 1 times 1 equals 3. Here I have that extended out to 8 bits in what's called the ripple carry adder. Each adder, that is each bit, is controlled by a device that has a schematic like this, where there are two XOR gates, there are two AND gates, and two OR gates. They compare to make sure that if A and B are both on, then you can't go above one, so it has to carry. If either A or C or B and C are on, then you also have to carry, and if only one is on, then you sum out to one. XOR means exclusive OR, by the way. Now back over here. For right now, for example, I have set up, I think it's 133 in binary. Um, 8 bits can represent 0 to 255. 256, you would need a ninth bit, which would carry 1, but that's a whole different matter. So right now, if I, for example, move the inputs all to 0, which I will do, because this is a complicated thing to do. There are a lot of inputs, as you can see. And there's a lot of jumper wires, as you can also see, I'm sure. And I think we have what? One that I missed. Oh, there we go. All are out. Wait, no. All right. So this is zero. And if I turn them all, if I turn the first one on, actually, I should say, this lights up. Then if I bring it to two, as two to the zero times two equals two, it has to and there's something loose, it has to carry over, as this is the carry light, to the next bit. This represents three, this carry and this on. However, if I go over to the next bit and turn one of its inputs on, that is somewhere in here under this bundle of tape, that will also have to carry because all of a sudden it will have one from the carry that's coming in and one from its input. So that switches the carry, and that this one over here, this bit, these two lights, this sums up to one. Now if I do the same thing all the way over, which I will do, and not describe it for sake of convenience, then you will see the true ripple carry effect. there. Silly jumper wire. And I gotta turn this off. Alright, so pretty much everything here right now is oops, missed one, is at one. That is all eight bits are at one. Let me double check that. One, 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 one. This one is loose. Grr. But anyway, you can see that if I try to bring the first bit up to two, they will all carry over like that. All four of these, except for the loose one. I don't know why that's misfunctioning. Uh, let's take a quick look. Uh-huh. All right, let's try that again. Now, if I bring the first bit up to two, they all carry. 
first bit down, first bit up, first bit down, first bit up, first bit down, up, down, up, down, up. You can see it rippling. Thank you.